Hey, welcome back. Today we have the ScreenMate Tempered Glass uh, Screen Saver or Screen Protector, sorry, for your Note 3. But on the last video of the uh, OtterBox for the Note 3, I promised you to do the Defender Series. Well, here I got the Defender Series. I ordered this off eBay and I was going to do an unboxing of it. But as soon as I opened the envelope, I knew right away that it was a fake. So I'm right now waiting for my uh, real one to come in. Once the real one comes in, we will compare, definitely we'll do an unboxing and we will do a comparison with this uh, counterfeit one, which isn't bad, but still, the guy charged me 50 bucks for a counterfeit case, which he probably paid about two bucks for. So anyhow, today we have the uh, ScreenMate by uh, iLoom. This is for the uh, Note 3. These are pretty popular these days. I don't know, I've never used one, so I can't really judge and say this is better than any other. Anyhow, uh, this is a, a glass uh, screen uh, screen protector, so it's a 9H hardness, uh, shatterproof, oleophobic coating. So the coating gives you a uh, anti fingerprint. So there's going to be no finger, supposedly no fingerprint smudges on it anymore, and it comes with a bubble free installation. Okay, so there's their website. Let's look around the box quickly for you. Pretty neat packaging. I ordered this one off Amazon. This set me back 25 bucks, which isn't bad. I've seen other ones by uh, a few other companies going for around $40. So, all right, so we get here is we get an insulation guide to tell you how to put this guy on. I'm sure it's pretty straightforward. I've never put on one, but who knows? So there, read through that. Nothing on the back. Okay. In the box, you also get two. Uh, Covers for your home button, right there. I don't know if I'm going to use them, they're kind of ugly. I don't know if you have to use them. And here's your dust remover, which is basically two pieces of tape. You can use any kind of tape you want, you don't have to use these. Comes with a uh, nice little microfiber cloth to clean it off. And there, that's it. And then in the box, here's your tempered glass screen protector. All right. Okay, so it's a little bit flexible. This is the nine hardness one. This is this is called the nine H, I guess. But the other one is a flex. I'm not too sure the name of this. I guess it is just called the ScreenMate nine H. But there's also a flex one, which is a little thinner and a lot flexible. It's a little less protection, but anyhow, there you go. There's the front side, and there's the back side for installing. All right, and this has a little. This has a curved curved edge to it, which is nice. Now, I've never put one of these on a phone, so you got to bear with me. I'm going to do this uh, as best as I can. So, yeah, I hope to do this right. So, let's just clean off the phone. And make sure there's no dust left on here. All right. Christmas tree in the background. Nice. Alright, I'm kind of scared to put this on. I don't know. <laughs> I, I just, I've never, I've not, never been a fan of uh, screen protectors. Because they just never work for me, but. Alright, looks pretty good. But you know what, I think I'm going to try the, you know what, I thought this came with hinge. To install them. Hinge, uh, hinge tape. I guess I'm wrong. Okay, I guess they don't include that anymore. So I guess we're just going to have to go with it. I've seen other people just drop it on. They make it look really easy. But, like I say, you got to have a... Alright, make sure we get all this off. If you want to take your... Uh... This piece of tape and just go around removing specks of dust as you see them. So now I'm going to attempt to put this on. Wish me luck. So, of course, peel the back off first, I guess, right? Okay.
Alrighty, so we got this iLoom installed. Take a look around. There's a few bubbles towards the edge here. I've pushed a few out and I was able to use the tape to get some dust out. Up at the top here, there's a little area right here and here that seem to have lost their stickiness or something because there's no dust under there. But anyhow, overall it went on pretty good. I put this little button on just to show you. I'm not, I'm not going to keep it on. I don't like how it's raised. That's a button they include. Without it, it's a, your uh, home button is a little indented into the uh, glass, but that's nice. It's not bad. It actually protects the, uh, the home button from being unnecessarily pressed when it's in your pocket or whatever. So how about we go ahead and try putting the OtterBox case on. This is the OtterBox commuter and see how it goes. I haven't tried this yet and we'll just see how it fits. See if it wants to lift up the screen. We'll try to be a little careful with it. All right, not bad. Seems to work pretty good. Alright, so there you have it on. There are, like I say, there's a few little air bubbles up there. But there you have it with the OtterBox installed. Very easy to put on. Didn't seem to lift the screen at all. And then again, still a very uh, responsive screen. I see no, uh, no difference in the responsiveness. Like I say, the S Pen works really well. Can pull that out and show you again. We'll do a screen right. Pretty fast. All right. Let's get past this and uh, move on. So there you have the screen make by by Screenmate by Illum. 9H hardness, tempered glass. Cheers.